Hello everyone, Crydax here and welcome back to our early game clean, compact and tileable blueprint builds. Today we're going to be working with the assemblers. You can fit three of them into the Mark 1 blueprint designer. It almost feels like you could fit six, but it, they just don't quite fit. And just a quick reminder, clean means we keep belts off the floor and we don't clip, or if we do it's very minor. Compact means they're as small as possible, and tileable simply means you can paste them one after another uh, next to each other, and you can line as many up as you want so that we could use a six assembler build or a nine assembler, and it wouldn't be hard to connect them in your factory. So just like in the other builds, we're gonna put three assemblers next to each other, that's all that fits. And then we're going to take our stackable poles and we're gonna put them kind of lined up with the, the very front of the assembler and we're not clipping. And we're gonna do that on the back as well. Now for this one, you can have the belt. This is kind of one where I'd say it's completely up to your preference. Because if you put it at the first level here, you end up getting some clipping with the belt, and then when you place the splitter, there's some more clipping, and that's just not gonna work. Oh, you know what, that's not even an option. I, For some reason I thought this was an option, but the, the lift isn't gonna connect anyway. So yes, you must go at least two up. That's what I do. Um, and, and you can't just go one tile up. So you're gonna go two tiles up for one of the inputs, three tiles up for the other one. So we have our belt going left to right. That'll be the first input, and that'll be the second input. And then for the output, you also need to go two tiles. And we'll get that built. I don't know why, but I think assemblers might be my favorite of the production buildings. And yeah, like before, the mergers aren't going to lock properly, so you need a lift. And then the merger on this particular build, it does lock to the belt properly when you hold control. And then again, as with the other builds, you need to deconstruct and then reconstruct and listen for the tick. And that tells you you are doing it right. And now we don't have any of those stubby belts that we hate oh so much. Now here we're gonna have the same thing. Splitters don't line up, but if we make the lifts, they should. I don't think we have to line the second one up perfectly. And we should be able to grab our splitters. Get those lined up. Snapping is such a beautiful thing, isn't it? Boy, oh boy. I remember back in the day when things were just so painful to build. <laughs> they have made it so nice and easy. So here you'll notice it wasn't snapping into the assembler from top to bottom. You do have to go bottom to top. I don't think I'd ever tried that until just now, but I guess it's a good thing to note. That you must go bottom to top, and that's it. That's the build. We need the power, and then we're good to go. Um, I will also do the finishing touch, as I like to say. Uh, I like to take off these stubby ends, and that's because if you were to paste these tiled next to each other, these little poles would overlap with the poles at the beginning. And so by deconstructing these little end parts, then you can just connect the splitters to the next splitters, or I should say it. Uh, these little input feeders right here and that way you don't have to worry about things overlapping so I do always deconstruct these before I save the blueprint and then for power this one's pretty simple um, I just run the power poles um, directly in between they don't get in the way of anything here so I kind of just put them right next to that caution line right there and right up oh if we can manage it, right there. Oh, I think, oops. You know, everybody makes mistakes. That's one tile over from where I actually put them in my real blueprint, my bad. That actually was clipping a slight amount. So rather than right next to it, we put it one tile back. Yeah, that's where I have it. Oh my goodness, can't believe myself. Now, 
I also just realized I'm using the jetpack like I said I wouldn't because you guys don't have the jetpack to build. <laughs> but this one was not a not a tough one. You guys should be able to whack this together in five minutes yourself. And that is a beautiful tileable assembler build. That's going to be it for this episode. Um, you guys already know how to tile these together. Watch the constructors and smelter ones if you don't. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I trust you guys to figure that out. That's going to be it for today's episode on blueprinting. Come back to the next one and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching.